Outside of a dog, a book is man's best friend. Inside of a dog, it's too dark to read. Welcome back, everyone, to Jupiter Night 2.0. We're back. We did it. Uh, surprise, surprise. It's Jupiter Night. We're live. We're back for the first time, for every time, for the internet. Gentlemen, introduce yourself. Starting right next to me here, it's John. Hey, it's me, John. Hey, John. Hi, Chris. Welcome back. And guess who's next to me? Who? Jeremy. Hi, it's Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy. Welcome back. Did you back. miss me? I did. And hey, guys. I'm Brian. Hey there, Brian. Brian hey, guys. Here. Brian, Brian, likes, here. Brian likes to jump the gun. I was going to introduce yeah. him. What? So, so he just doesn't uh, like me. Longtime nope. viewers of Jupiter Broadcasting programs will recognize a couple of things right up the front. Uh, first of all, this one's uh, not. This show is not quite as polished as our other shows. This is a laid back. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chris. Did you literally just say up the front? Up the front, Brian. You mean not not at the front? No, but like up the front. Not up front. No, yeah. up the front. Up the front. You know what I mean by that, right? No. Oh. Hey, well, can we'll I just talk say that I think we're getting this off on the right foot? Because somebody's telling us in the chat room that right. John's mic is turned off. Oh, right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so tell them about the not polished part. <laughs> so this is the first episode of the re-inaugurated show. I kind of think this was done on purpose. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, I totally, I don't blame you at all. One of the things about this show is it's really just uh, a bunch of friends had an right. excuse to hang out. Here and we, we wanted to sort of revitalize our old show, Cast mm -hmm. This is kind of, you guys, we're going to be honest with you, it's kind of more of an audio show. Yeah. Sure. We're oh, going to be totally. straight with you. This is probably a commuter's friend. Kick back while you're working to listen. But if you want to watch in video, we are making it available. It's a little rough because really our set isn't built for four So for what four you're dudes. saying is I did not need to wear a shirt. No, it was not important dude, at all. Dude, take it off. Did you not just take job. it off? Did you Here not expect? Go. It's coming off. Now, the, well, wait, well, you know, no, we wait. Are. You're sitting right next to me. Don't, it, don't do that. All right. <laughs> We've got here now uh, another element we wanted to bring in is a little beer's tasty aspect. So the J Man and I are uh, taking the bolt this episode, yep. and we're both enjoying ourselves a brewski. Uh -huh. And by the end of this episode, I will try to give you a review of Mere Ponds. Pale ale. Oh, so I should be chip paying attention to yeah. what I'm So what you're saying is this is Jupiter <laughs> at night plus Castablasta plus beer taste. You got it, buddy. Here Basically, we are. every show that we've ever done that we don't do anymore is we'll, being re we'll bring back. Except, except for Radio Revolver and Mac Murphy. Right, right. right. Those two are gone. Eventually. We could squeeze them in. You yeah. know, though, the thing is, is uh, there is just these topics out there that yes. uh, honestly, we just don't really get an outlet to talk about them in our other shows, and we are just as passionate about these other things as we are about uh, the topics of our other shows. And Castablasta was a great outlet for us back then. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, it was the original podcast that we we did together. It was the mm -hmm. inaugural. It, it founded yeah, it was the, the first uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Jupiter at Night was uh, it was a program where we knew it was lacking some focus, and we didn't know where to take Jupiter at Night, and so we liked the idea of taking a show that kind of has like a backstage. Feel. You know, I mean, this is like the last episode of our shooting week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, I guess no stoked is Saturday. But thinking of like the actual Man, work who week. Who really watches that schlock? Yeah. Nobody. <laughs> thinking of the actual work week. This that is show like our is last crap. Show. <laughs> I'm going to go on the record right now. That show is crap. I Especially hate those it. early episodes with three people. Terrible. <laughs> that third jerk off who was, was ruining it. I you tell you what. You talk, what. What did they call you in the forum that one no, time? No, I think I was on that show. The <laughs> 80s movie guy? I, I, yeah, I was, I was like evil 80s movies guy. They, they, like they compared me to Styles I was Wolf from the original Teen Wolf movie. Oh, awesome by the way, there, you saw. Have you guys seen the reboot it. stuff? No, I, I have not. I have not forced myself Shut to watch your it yet. Face. But yeah, yeah, they rebooted Teen Wolf as a teen drama Recently? TV series. Now, are they gonna go basketball or boxing? <laughs> well, honestly, come on. You got to go basketball. You first. have to go basketball. Then you have How a cousin drama come in. Right. Like, are like we talking Twilight? On, yeah, like Twilight teen drama. Whoa. Like, oh, it's oh, it's, no, it's got you. all the characters in it. Is this a TV show? Yeah, apparently it's on MTV. Yeah. Oh, oh it's on, it's on right now. You can go down on the music first television? episode or two. Yeah, yeah, it's on the music television. Oh man, oh, so I don't sing in that. every episode. The, the chat room, at least one guy says it's very bad. You know, you just <laughs> got to picture the meeting. It's like you know what people like: vampires and werewolves. Yep. <laughs> yep. See, what, what will can we go back to? What, yeah. What <laughs> random thing have we not mined yeah. yet? And seriously, no though, Teen Wolf is so cool in the old days. Well, I loved even the sequel movie was good. I, 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 I liked him. It Something, was fun. And we were pretty young when they came out. We were super young. Yeah, we probably wouldn't like it now. Oh, Something tells me as this show goes on, you guys, there's going to be a lot of things. In fact, Brian, honestly, I remember we really struggled with this with BSG was a lot of times when they reboot things, we don't always like it. 
Yeah. Well, of course not. We're old farts now. We, now, right. we this hate is, things, and we hate we hate young whippersnappers. This That's is really this is really to your credit, Brian. Uh, Thank you. Look, I do try pretty hard. Well, I was. Gonna, I think we can all agree, John. Is this to my credit? You don't know yeah, what I'm about yeah, to say. This is, this is good. What this if, is good job, bro. What if I'm about to say, like... Chad uh, agrees. Good job. What bro. if I'm about to say, like, world hunger or something? You don't know what I'm Bring about it. to say. Bring <laughs> it. I would love I would love to be like... Dude, if I was the cause of world hunger, I would get so much airtime on every yeah, channel I'm going to make you a new t-shirt. And then airtime the equals hunger. tail. Yeah, blame me. Fine. Equals tail. You know what? Bad guys get, yeah, get so much action. Yeah, that's that's all there is yeah. to it. Uh, no, uh, early on, uh, J-Man, you, you know... Or, Middle J-Man. Yeah. The other J-Man. You know what I'm talking about here. Uh, we, we will roll. Wait, they're both We're in both the middle. middle J-Man. Yeah, okay. All right, so, so I'll let's try to keep it straight. John we'll say, or Jerry. All right. Yeah, it'll probably be easier. Okay. Or, uh, for short, you can call me J-Man. Oh. We, didn't work out, we didn't work out these logistics. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why don't we call them J-1 and J-2, but not right. tell them which is which? All right. The best part is he calls me J-Man off, off. Like, this is not just he, now. He calls us both J-Man. Dude, yeah. he calls you both J-Man to me. So he'd yeah. be like, I was just talking to J-Man. I'm like, great. Who the hell are you talking about? <laughs> which what? Yeah. Now, what I wanted to say was that in the early episodes of Cast of Blaster that we were all on the live stream on occasion is, uh, Jeremy, what we were watching just yesterday, we were talking um, about, it was like years in advance, like some of the news items you'd pulled out, Brian, for those early Cast of Blasters. Uh, Oh, it was the X-Men movie, the new X-Men movie. Oh, yeah, movie. yeah, the first class. Yeah. We mm -hmm. were talking about the news of the first class and what we expected and what we were worried about back in 2009. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So uh, I we hope we can kind of bring some of that with us in this show too. We're cutting edge, dude. Has anybody else here seen it? I have not. No, I've been boycotting it. Oh, it's worth it. It's, I, it's worth really seeing think, or worth yeah. boycotting. No, I it's worth watching. Like did you like the third one, Brian? Because I did not like. I don't the think third anybody one. liked. The not third really. One. <sighs> not, yeah. And see, I'm a huge Marvel guy. I've, I've gone on the record as I'm not really big into DC. Like I like mm -hmm. Green Lantern a little bit, like as a franchise. But most of DC stuff just bores me. Did you see the Green Lantern? Batman's all right. I haven't seen Green Lantern yet, though. I gotta tell you, he looks. Dreamy. <laughs> I figured, you have long had a man crush on Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is a sexy, sexy man stunt. I tell you what. So I mean, I mean, Sean Connery. I oh, mean, boy. and William Shatner are both sexy, sexy men, right? Yeah. But they're really Granted. old. So I feel like as a man, it's okay to have a man crush on both of them. I you agree. Know, because you're like, you know I'm what? There. That's my one. I'd go gay for one of those yep. two guys. Yep. It's never gonna happen because they're so just old. Do it. There's I'm no more Shat these days. I think Connery's getting past his prime. But that's what I mean. There's no way they can get it up. So Sorry, even if you did go gay for them, you know, you don't have to do too much right. but, but, but yeah. ryan reynolds he's like the one he's like he's hot like mm -hmm. like he's awesome you know what i'm saying yeah. he's yeah. great well and longtime fans will know that uh uh this is a callback to cast blast uh, i would go gay for Kiefer Sullivan. yes yeah he and, talks about it maybe a little too much and See, the, uh, that would be rough sex though that's what i'm thinking b man that's what i'm thinking <laughs> you'd like that see yeah. i, I no, like ryan no. reynolds because it would be delicate it'd be soft and he, he would, would be love loving you. yeah he it'd be would, very soft he would he'd he'd whisper in your ear this podcast yes, is kind of taking a turn guys all right okay let's get all right, all right, hey, yeah, yeah. actually do you, do you want a segue <laughs> speaking of william shatner we've got a uh, we've got a story here about the big shat uh he actually confirms that he will not be in star trek 2 although Thank he's good buddies with jj these days oh good Good That's buddies, fine. but he will not be in the new J.J. Trek movie. You know, I want to remind you guys that that picture we just showed on the video version, um, that is like 20 years ago, 30 years ago maybe. Yeah. I, mean, uh, I could, Chat is not... He's 80s. an old man now. He is not going Late on. 80s. He does not have this, it going on. Well, this would be. Uh, any of you watch Shatner's Raw Nerve? Like yeah. recently, like yeah. within the last few months or yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that is one of the most awkward series of television series. I love Shatner's Raw Nerve. I, I, I do it. too, but it is very awkward. Yeah, it's, it's incredibly but awkward. But come on. But even People the way the like chairs them. are arranged are awkward. Yeah. Oh, the chair is awesome. It's like one <laughs> chair, and it's like connected by love by the right arms or something. It's awesome, and it's it's great. But see, people love things like The Office. And that's just awkward humor. It's not it even is. that funny, those right. shows, but it's awkward humor. This isn't even awkward humor. This is legitimate life experiences. I agree. Awkwardly. Uh, <laughs> and actually, William Shatner, it's awesome. To Shatner's credit, it is awkward, but it, they're, they're actually, I think there's some Look crazy. Look at that picture. That's awesome. I, I think no there's No socks some... from Mr. Nimoy. <laughs> Oh, no I don't, socks. I don't think that shows up in the, uh, yeah, oh, there, there we go. go. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh boy. He's rocking it. Now, uh, <laughs> something about the Shatner Raw Nerve format, though, actually got Regis, of Regis and Kelly, 
to not only disclose something very personal. There's another Regis? But yeah, seriously, dude. He, he oh. actually went back you to the- You mean Regis on like the OC? No, no. Regis of Regis and Kelly. Not OC Regis. No, not you OC. You mean with we Kelly Ripa? Yeah, yeah with Kelly Ripa. Oh man, Kelly Ripa is so talented. So what, he went back and said, hey, don't talk about you this? Gotta, you gotta pull this from the show. Yeah. Man, my shorts are he tight. Got, he got Regis to, to disclose something that he was not comfortable going on air. Something what he disclosed? very, very racist. We don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. Maybe his gay love for William Shatner. That's probably the only thing he'd get out of me. Just saying. That's really okay. easy to get out of you. So, <laughs> so JJ, if, 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 someone had, your people. if someone had gay love for William Shatner, they go on the internet and talk about it. They proclaim it. Nobody mm -hmm. hides that. No well, one's like, I hope no one finds out I think William Shatner's sexy. Brian, you were a little you were a little upset that they didn't work Shat into Star Trek 2009. Well, I thought it was a snub. I mean, come and on. And what about number two now? Well, uh, didn't he kind of go on the record that he wasn't like totally thrilled about not being in it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, he was kind of snubbed in the first one. Yeah. Uh, that at one point there was I, a scene for him in the script. I see. Yeah. No, decided no, not to film. no. See, no, no. There wasn't a thing in the script for them. They, they, ha they, they wrote thought, something they in. They tried it. and it didn't work, and they just it didn't said, forget so they yanked it. it. Oh. See, the problem was, is it just was bolt on, and I could honestly see it. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it and honestly, been bolt. here's the other problem. Now looking back on it, from 2009, yeah. if you had the new chat, if you had the new Kirk and the old Kirk, he, the, the old Kirk would strip new Kirk. Of all Kirkiness. Mm -hmm. And That's in the true. audience's eye, that would just be a dude. Well, because yeah. the new Kirk yeah, was right. barely you're, Kirk you're to begin right. with. So they really yeah. have to watch for that, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Now, I, I'm totally cool with this because also it goes back to an old Trek, um, what would you call it, tradition. You know, the beginning of each new Trek series, an old captain or an old cast member There's a hand off. hands it off. I, yeah. 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 I mean, the first TNG, uh, DeForest Kelly was there to hand it off. The first and a generation is the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. The, yep. Uh, yeah, it's happened on the movies. It's happened. Yep. In, yeah. And yep. uh, uh, what, so this time, Kirk handed it off. And Cisco was in uh, Spock, Cisco I mean. was in Voyagers premiere episode. Right. Yeah. Yep. There you go. So and a bunch of people were involved in the DS. But maybe what about this? So here's something we've got a little news. So JJ said no to Star Trek two for the chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, JJ's other good buddy, uh, Evangeline Lilly, the little cutie from Lost, right. is uh, going to be joining Woodland as an elf. Uh, Woodland as an elf in the new Hobbit movie. Didn't she come out yeah. and make a big stink about how she's never going to act again recently? Yeah, she was talking. Well, she, I, I think she didn't want to do that TV. much acting. She was she's done with TV. Way. But I mean, she looks kind of like an elf. But I mean, I, yeah. you know, I'm on the record as, as liking Lost, but I don't even remember the. Is it, it's, I haven't read the Hobbit in probably no. They made up a character. Yeah, they made up. It says it right there in the article. They made up a character. Yeah. So, well, they're taking Hobbit and they're splitting it into two movies. Which is ridiculous because the book is, is like super 90 fast pages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's 94 pages. It's totally money grab. <laughs> can, I, can I throw one at you guys that, that came and up? And is rewritten in the first original Lord of the Rings book. It's rewritten. Summarized. It's yeah. summarized and it's not that much shorter. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> oh, really? really? Well, I mean, he's exaggerating somewhat, but not that much. I mean, they, it's like, okay, hey, let's go over here. And yeah, there's the a Hobbit, dragon. Okay, we're The Hobbit back. was a children's book. <laughs> yeah, it really yeah, is. And it Lord really of the Rings is. was made for those children when they would yeah, grow up. Yeah, yeah when they were yeah. teenagers. Yeah. You Although, know, that being said, Mr. Tolkien did rewrite part of The Hobbit after Lord of the Rings just to make the, the ring a little bit more menacing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, it wasn't really a big deal. No, it wasn't. It was like, hey, cool, right. I got this busy ring. Yeah. What is this cool shiny crap? <laughs> I don't know. That always feels cheap a little bit. It feels disingenuous slightly. I think it's okay because Lord of the Rings is so good. <laughs> now, uh, today, as we're yeah, shooting this... that's all right. Uh, whatever. Entertainment, entertainment uh, Weekly or whatever, I don't know. Martin Freeman. They released, uh, yeah, some images of Martin mm -hmm. Freeman rocking uh, in The Hobbit here. I think he's a good choice for Bilbo. Dude, yeah. he's a yeah, great choice happy. for Bilbo. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. And Martin actually, Freeman rocks. He I saw some early shots awesome. of some of the guys that are playing the dwarves as well, and they look like good. they're going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. think so? Oh, yeah. I'm totally like so out of the whole hobby. You know what thing, I'm really like, worried about though about going on the dwarves is that they've got all got such ridiculous names that I think that distracting the time, almost. <laughs> yeah, it's really distracting. I agree. It's I not as bad that, when you're like, reading a children's book, but when people introduce these guys as as something Spimly, you're supposed to Gimli, 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 Wimli, and whatever, and you're supposed to buy that's an actual <laughs> right. person. Yeah, you're yeah. supposed to buy it. I totally am with you, Jamie. Yeah, or, Jeremy. I bet. <laughs> I bet people will just kind of brush over it. I mean, yeah. personally, I'm bad about character names in movies anyway. Like, well, I'm good about remembering other details, but names generally just... Does, you know, every, does everybody the remember? Funny, the funny thing is, I mean, they cut out of the Lord of the Rings trilogy some of the most ridiculous characters, like Tom Bombadil. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tom Bombadil, they cut out of the first three tri the trilogy because he's, he's ridiculous. He's a ridiculous a lot of people wizard really were upset that walks about around. That, but, but I was not a fan. Well, he's, <laughs> not, a, he's not a core important No, part. he's not. It was totally understandable. It was totally cuttable, but mm -hmm. honestly, they cut oh. him for being ridiculous, and yet all the dwarves are here. Yeah. So, I, and I don't most know if you aren't that important. part of the battle. Like, Tom yeah, Bombadil just, like, kind of shows up and is like, hey, stay at my house for a little while. Yeah, I'll, I'll sing really some it. songs for you. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, that's yeah, true. I'm Mr. Forrest. I might be an immortal demigod. I might be. <laughs>
Now we also got. Uh, we See you also, later. Good knowledge there, man. We also Pop got a. Uh, here's a shot of Gandalf. <laughs> I love our Tom Bombadil impressions. <laughs> That's just hey, how I, I read it. That's how I read it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always thought he sounded kind of like a derby man. Yeah, yeah, or a 1920s like newsreel yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why, hello, Mr. Bilbo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want to talk about this? Uh, also, we got a shot of uh, Gandalf. He looks like Gandalf. Mm -hmm. Moving yeah. on. Looks yeah. like looks like Grandpa Gandalf. That's oh pretty much Oh my gosh, it's similar as what we already seen in the same movies by the same people. Moving on. I know. But he's gray again, guys. Hey, while we're talking, <laughs> just going back in time. While yeah, we're talking about movies. Uh, Let's talk a little bit about Hellboy oh, 3. Mr. Ron Perlman. Yeah. Now, now the headline from uh, mm. Chud.com goes as follows. Abandon all hope oh. for Hellboy 3. Yeah, it's sad. Raise your hand if you had hope. No, I had a lot. I didn't think oh, you it was did? really high up right oh, you now. You were a fan of the I'm original graphic huge, novels and everything. Right? Huge yeah. Mike Mignola fan. Yeah, I love you love Hellboy. Them I, I really liked them too. I love the BPRD series. I love all the, the work of the original stuff. Um, I like the actual novels. I like the spin off um, uh, <laughs> Lobster Johnson, uh, which is great. If you guys have not read Lobster Johnson, read Lobster Johnson. It's awesome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, you guys right have right. to do that. And I, I, I love the first two movies, even though they're not amazing, amazing. I, I love the universe and i feel like they did a good job and i really liked the sequel a lot and i had high hopes you know for the, third the, one. the sequel got pretty good reviews but nobody saw it no i, I did. mean it, it got better I reviews if it came out one. on a bad weekend i saw or something. it twice in the movie theater i saw it in the theater so uh yeah, me too Th so we didn't actually I I say too. we didn't awesome. we didn't actually say why they're saying abandon all hope well but, tell um, me chris let's cover it now mm. uh now so this this gentleman here his name is gal de mero del toro <laughs> guillermo del toro gal de mero Del it's Chris, don't it's Guilermo. Guilermo like Del Toro. Guilermo Del Taco is uh, <laughs> what what was his role in Hellboy? Because it's, according to Chud.com, the writer, director, okay. writer, director. Yeah, he's, yeah. that's he's what I was wondering. I think he was the producer of it. And he's he's, he's out for Hellboy three. Oh, he he yeah, pulled. He's not involved. He's he pulled. So, yeah, he pulled. So out. that's. And basically, Why? so if you guys don't know the history of Hellboy 2, Hellboy 2 was in a completely different studio than Hellboy 1, and it barely got made. Like, Guillermo made it, and I, I think a couple of people have mentioned this, where he basically made it by a force of will. Like, mm -hmm. he wanted it to happen so hard that he basically squeezed it into existence. Guillermo del Toro yeah. is very well known for making these freaky visual right. feasts right. for the eyes. Yeah. Like, uh, the orphanage. another one of his big ones is Pan's Labyrinth. Oh, yeah. good one. Which was uh, just Enjoyable. incredible. Awesome watch. movie. What's that other one he's got? There's there's one that's uh, actually just in Spanish that has to do with vampires and a clock. Ooh, it's we all like yeah. vampires. Spanish no, it's vampire clock. No, it's supposed to be good. There's some kind of like clock that makes you. Are the clocks like some vampires? kind of or something? No, no, mm -hmm. like. Is it the clocks that speak Spanish? I wish I knew more information on. Yeah, I should I have brought too. Del Clocko. <laughs> no, it's, it's supposed to be good. I but regret it's in Spanish, mentioning so. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, should we shift uh, to TV? You guys want to? All right, lay it on me. TV. Sure, sure. Because I want to talk about this one. All right. So the story goes like this. Uh, after a long, right? It's been since summer of 2009. Yeah. A mm -hmm. break for Torchwood. Torchwood's coming back. Awesome. Uh, and uh, and also, I just want to give a mention that I noticed if you uh, want to celebrate the occasion by catching up, which I am sincerely thinking about doing, Netflix. Uh, it's all available on Netflix. Yep. It's hey, worth doing. Well, the seasons one, two, three. Is the Children of Earth also on there? Uh, uh, the miniseries? Yes, I, I believe so. it is. Yeah, I believe it is. It awesome. And I heard that miniseries is considered, like, according to io9, and they just rave about it. The miniseries, they say, is just incredible. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, he's a, he's a uh, captain. <coughs> is it, I haven't seen it for a while. Is it Bill? What is Torchwood? Jack. Jack, Jack Harkness. Captain Jack. Torchwood, yeah, Torchwood is a spinoff of Doctor Who? Torchwood is yes. an anagram yes. for Doctor Who. And Torchwood is literally, it is this organization. Think of it like the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense in England. It actually mm -hmm. takes place in England. x files kind of? Right. Yeah, yeah. And they, they study Doctor Who. They study Doctor Who and they study like time rifts and those mm -hmm. sorts of things. And it's a pretty cool show. It's it's run by the former Doctor Who showrunner Rick, mm -hmm. uh, Davies, and so it's very sexually like it's an adult. It's more Doctor adult, yeah. Who. It's yeah. an adult version of. Of, uh, so, what is there any nudity post watershed? No, but yeah. uh, Captain Jack is known as like omnisexual. Like he's oh, he's, and there's he some likes gore. Everything. Yeah, he, he yeah. There's he, a lot of gore. There's swearing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah it's it's good. So now the it's, it's coming an adult. back. Which Great is character. cool. And it's coming back on a new network. Showtime's got it this time around, so it's not just a BBC show this time. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah. And what's really interesting is it starts out in America. So Torchwood, I won't give away too much, but Torchwood is basically in shambles. It's it's decimated. Mm -hmm. And and it, there is an event that occurs that makes it so people don't die. Like, nobody dies. Sounds good at first, right? And, and no. really quickly, the whole Earth devolves into crap. Because mm -hmm. like, that includes like, even people that are 
anything. deathly ill or they don't incredibly yeah. injured. They're just not dying. They just don't die. And right, I, so I was reading about that. They they, they kind of trace everything back to like that, this though. this yeah. original Torchwood like event, and then Torchwood gets kicked back up again. So it's it's kind of it sounds really good. Sounds kind of like the Ghostbusters. You know how Ghostbusters did a bunch of work, and then nobody like really believed that they did anything, and then they were needed again. So yeah. guess what? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then they made a terrible Torchwood. Yeah. And <laughs> like Doctor Who, both are coming into America for the really really the first time. So this was kind of cool because this last season of Doctor Who started out in Utah. Oh, you know what? Pretty cool. I think they kind of rub that in our faces sometimes, though. A lot. Yeah. This reminded me. I wanted to bring up a thing that we. I wear like, Stetsons now. Uh, Stetsons are cool. I, <laughs> oh, let's do. Let's let's start a tradition. A, a new thing for the show starting next week. Okay. Oh, so Jupiter Night Thursdays is live at jblive.tv at 7 p.m. That work, does that work for everybody? 7 p.m. generally? Probably. Yeah. With four of us, we don't always have to be there all the time, but yeah. we'll rotate it. We'll tr- <laughs> if we can all make it, we will. Uh, 7 if no one else live. comes, Brian will talk by himself for one hour. And then I think we'll try to get it out that night, Thursday night. Um, oh. But here's what I want to do. I want to do, like, it's like a book club, only not lame. Where uh, impossible? <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, like a watch along. Like I think we'll do like a we're gonna we're gonna announce like a series or a movie that we're gonna all watch before the next episode, and then mm-hmm. you guys at home could do the same thing. And then we're gonna on the next episode we'll come back and we'll talk about. Debbie it. does yeah. Dallas one, two, and, and three. You for can next talk week. about it too. So I I think maybe like we'll start out we'll try it with something like the BSG mini series or something that like is. Easily then we have accessible. to watch that again. Yeah, no, that's true. We do have to agree on one we can all watch. So we're going to yeah. save that for next week. I want to prep the folks. I think that's something we're going to try to work into the show. Yeah. That's a good okay. thing that, yeah. to get suggestions from the uh, audience on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and you it's, can still use our old email address. Honestly, night Torchwood's at Jupiter a good one to start with right well, now because it's kicking back in and British series is are short as hell. Could we oh, jump yeah, into like yeah. the Torchwood mini? See, I don't want to unload like a whole series on people at first. That's true. Yeah, so you want to start series. with like three episodes Yeah, that's what I was just to kind of... Three episodes would be fine. To kind of work it in. Yeah, start with Children of Earth. Honestly, you can start you with can Children jump right of in. Earth. Yeah. All you got to know about Captain Jack is that he's he's from the future. Do you guys and the past? Uh, do you guys and the past? How and long the is the Children of Earth miniseries? Three, five episodes. Four. Okay. Only five. The five. 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 About I an think hour it's five. five and and uh, Dreams Void and Avatar five in the chat room says it's yeah. five. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you guys want to try to do it? Does that work for everybody? It's not on Netflix. Oh, yeah, the show. Oh, man, we should do that, too. That's on Netflix also. All right. Well, let's do it. If we can all do it, let's try to get it. So, if you guys want to watch the Children of Men Torchwood miniseries. Children of Earth. Li- Ch- Children of Earth. Sorry. Children of Men. That's an awesome uh, movie, though. Yeah, hey, Good movie. Link in the show notes to the Netflix streamable version. Uh, and then tune in next week, on, and we'll, we'll chat about it with you guys. That'd sure. So yeah. the Torchwood, I think, is a good way to start. And that sounds. And then, plus, if I if I dig the miniseries, I'm probably totally going to get into the yeah, show. Yeah, get into mm-hmm. that. Oh, uh, there was one more movie story I thought we should cover, and I know it's a it's one close to the B man's heart over there. Uh, now this is kind of just a rumor. Why is this close to the B man's heart? Christina Hendricks. <laughs> Why? <laughs> is it just because she's rather well endowed? Is that Brian right? loves Christina Hendricks? I you, do. Yes, Brian. You talked when we used to. You talked about her Mad before. Madman from Firefly. You've mentioned it before. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. This is Reynolds. No, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, Christina Hendricks is great. I don't really care about Mad Men. Mad Men was a lame show. I don't care who who wrote it. I like Mad Men. But, yeah, but Firefly, she was awesome in Firefly. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Right? Mal Reynolds. Mrs. Yeah, Mal Reynolds. Mrs. Mal Reynolds. Mal, Mrs. Mal Reynolds. And she could be the next Wonder Woman now. It's just all rumors. And she says, yeah, put it out there. Maybe it'll Dips. happen. But I would dips. <laughs> 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 I would totally, I could totally see I her as it. Wonder Woman. Now, now speaking of Wonder Woman, she actually kind of kicked butt in that Firefly. Yeah, she did. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? Honestly, put her in the Wonder Woman get out. She would mm. never stay in that outfit. No, uh, <laughs> that's the <laughs> thing. Uh, you are talking about it. I like that's Stipulus. Awesome. I like Stipulus, the commenter on io, io9. He votes uh, Queen Latifah. There you go. <laughs> That so, too. So Honestly, no, did, did that would be a uh, kind of a badass show. <laughs> Queen Latifah as Wonder Woman. Would yeah. be Speaking of Wonder Woman, they released, uh, or there's a leak, actually, of part of the pilot for the Wonder Woman thing that yes. didn't get picked up. Yeah. So bad. It yeah. is really bad. So awesome really bad. bad. I read yeah. a, an article that it was a blow-by-blow blow of each scene description and then followed by commentary, and it, it was, was so bad. Oh, my God, like, was it bad. She's never break through the security. <laughs> Cut her opening a door. It's just so bad. It's I uh, bad. I saw the. There's a clip of it on YouTube, and yeah. uh, one of people were a little critical of her too because she didn't quite like the the. You know, she didn't look like her. She didn't quite fit the outfit quite yet. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's just a little rough. Yeah, it was, and so they, yeah, they, they canceled well, that. The thing. actress is the entire premise. Enough. She everything was, she was doing about Lights. yeah, everything about the premise for the way that they set up the Wonder Woman character was just awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was bad. Well, it's gone. But yeah, come on, it's DC Universe, guys. It's all kind of lame anyway. They make everything up. They don't even set in like an actual city. They don't like live in New York or something. They're in, like Metropolis. Or, well, let's talk or, about this. I live in Boo Boo so, Land or uh, whatever they do now. Whatever is there a real Boo Boo Land? 
Probably. Oh, yes, John. There they is don't a live boo-boo anywhere land. Ne- real. They're like, let's go to the Midwest, to the big town in the Midwest called, like, Midwesty Land. And, like, they don't. <laughs> just the horrible DC's name is lame. Lady Ryan. It is interesting to see how Green Lantern is not being well received. And Thor is not yet, is not, I wouldn't say the strongest Marvel movie, but it's still being much, much, much well Thor more received was than. awesome. Yeah. I think than, I've uh, gone on record so far as saying that it's probably the weakest Marvel so far, and I still enjoyed the hell out of it. That's a lie. Although I, I admit, I, I saw with Chris, and we were both a little. Maybe not including beginning. Iron Man mm. Two. That was pretty weak. I liked honestly. I, did not I like liked Iron Thor Man quite a lot, but I'm a huge Thor fan from the comic book series. That's I weird. mean, I follow I follow Silver Age Thor on up. I love it all. Yeah, that's yeah. weird. I yeah. love Thor. Well, my point is, I love the reincarnation is Marvel. I believe. And I think we've now seen the proof in the pudding. Right. I mean, D- DC's done this kind of stuff before, but I think you can. I think you can honestly say, look at the Marvel movies. Look at the recent DC movies. Marvel is keeping a tighter control over their IP. They're keeping in the world more accurate. Yeah. There's a long-term uh, integration plan across the movies, which is mm-hmm. awesome yeah. as a fan. And I just feel like Marvel doesn't seem to have been slowed down by the Disney acquisition, which I was really worried about. And then on top of that, it's like, look at them just showing DC up at the same time. I mean, the don't only you guys thing think? that DC is, is doing is the Batman. Uh, yeah. let, me, yeah. Yeah. Guys ask, yeah. let me ask you guys this. Let me yeah, ask you guys on the this. Batman angle. When you think of Marvel, Stan Lee, right? Mm-hmm. Stan the Stan, man Lee yeah. fucking Excelsior, yeah. right? Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, okay. DC, go. Um, Superman. You got the, nothing. That, I think it's Superman. That you, guy. But, no, 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 no. Who's... The guy. Who's the guy where you're like, man, oh, that guy oh. is a creative friggin' genius that created the best, the best comic book characters in history. Who's the DC guy? Have, it's just totally different style, too. It's you not know? interesting. DC's That's the one I was thinking of there, okay, it was Bob Kane. Mm-hmm. Bob Kane? Bob Kane. Bob Kane. Uh, Who's the original inventor of Batman, if I remember right, right? Jack Kirby. Yeah, Jack Kirby. Well, Kirby's Marvel. Oh well, whatever. Jack Kirby, wait, in the, in the wait, chat room. Yeah. Jack Kirby is the is the co-inventor of a lot of the stuff with Stanley and, and Marvel. Mm. Yeah, Jack Kirby's an artist. Now, great, great, uh, great artist. Speaking of comics, the uh, Mal- Marvel Mal- Ultimate Universe is getting a bit of a shakeup uh, today. Yeah. I think in the What's edition that on? came out today, uh, Spider-Man. Oh, that, yeah. In the in the in the in the in the, ulti- in the ultimate. Yeah, in the ultimate mm-hmm. edition, Spider-Man has been killed. Yeah, but you know what? Ultimate a Marvel Ultimate is a lot like Marvel Marvel Bizarro World. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Mar- like Mar- it's pseudo Marvel. It didn't kind of start almost. off that way. No, but it's, it's, it's the retelling of, of like a bunch of stuff, right? So yeah. It's, yeah. It's it's ultimates. I mean, it's, I, it's they can get away with take. going. I was reading the early Spider-Man Ultimates, so I mean, they, they I were good. I own like the first four graphic novel compilations. Did you really? Yeah, mm-hmm. nice. Like up until he started getting involved with the Civil War and everything like that, which but was that, that wasn't the same? Ultimate Universe. That wasn't no, Ultimates. No, that has no 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 crossover to Ultimates. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's well, so good. This, that this was why death, I was so uh, they, just, they kill everybody. They well, kill they everybody. Well, they do. But what I like with yeah. see, uh, but they can with but, Ultimates because that's the whole point. Is it's like a it's a what if universe. Let's that's be what fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're just yeah. reading these comics for entertainment, and they did it in like a six part series build up. Call you know, the death of Spider Man, where you knew it was coming. And yeah. I and honestly, the first thing I said when I, when I read that when I read that single sentence, I like I want to pick up the whole set. I want to get the whole set. I don't they care know what they're doing. I mean, that yeah. is fun. And, and comics remember? are their best when the, when you can read them back to back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember the death of Superman? Because that was like the big one. Oh, death, death of Superman. I, death that of was Superman. Like huge news because it was like well, the first time they killed off someone super major. You know, when the, I can think of where I was at when I read the final pages of Death of Superman. Really? Like, I remember I think, the room I was I, I can in. think of it, too. And it's, like, it's funny. Like, I, I remember I was in middle school at the time, and then, you know, they, they had, like, all these, like, Superman replacements. Like, so yeah. there was, like, a clone, yeah, think, and a the, robot. And, yeah, the, yeah the, the one that was the essentially metal, but not quite. Right, yeah, yeah, right, steel, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, which direction are they going to go? Late. Yeah, which well, one's going to be the final Superman? And I was a sucker. He's like, yeah. no, they're going to go back to the original. Of course yeah. they are. You know yeah. what? I remember where I was, too. I remember the exact moment where I was sitting somewhere, and I didn't give a shit. I remember that. I remember thinking, mark this moment. I have never given less of shit about a comic book character in my life. I remember that. Oh, I have such a soft spot for Superman. I don't know what. You know, I'm not really a Superman fan, but I still remember it. In I mean, recent like, years, comic books have killed off Captain America. Yeah. They yeah. killed off uh, like half of the X-Men. Yeah. Oh, yeah, geez. Uh, they killed off... Um, uh, there's another big one I'm thinking of, but I can't... Thor. They killed Thor? Thor? Yeah. The real one, not the robot uh, kinda, thing? Kind of, uh, Don't Is spoil he back, <laughs> Ryan? Did he come back? Yes, but... Okay. <laughs> He's just a well, god. He see, can be killed. Now the problem with Superman. Uh, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. Awesome. Fantastic Four. Human the Torch. Original, that was the, the other original. One yeah, the original yeah. Human Torch. Yeah. Wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Actually, the original Human Torch, and then the Fantastic Four Human Torch, because the original Human Torch was like that comic guy thing. Oh, really? 
Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Right. Yeah. So there was an original. There was a human torch before. There was the, a human torch before the human torch. Huh. Yeah. Well, and during the yeah. um, infinite. The more you know. Whatever. You call another DC big event. Infinite crisis. crisis. No, not the DC torch. thing. Oh. The the Marvel one that was the Secret Wars. Oh yeah. They killed again like half the cast. Well, dude, they didn't. They didn't just kill half the cast. The 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 infiltration. They basically had all of them as crawls. Mm -hmm. So they were a shape shifting alien, and they basically crawls. Revealed Wait, you gotta you gotta explain what crawls are to the people. Crawls are. are, are green shape-shifting aliens that can also kind of take the powers of whoever they're right. shape-shifting. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. like, ever heard of Super Crawl? Yeah, they get like memories. Part, yeah. And so what they did is they literally went through and killed off a bunch of people like Elektra and a, is actually the original one that started off the Secret right. Invasion stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they killed off all these massively big, important characters and so every character in the Marvel Universe was like, holy crap, I don't know who's a Krull. And or who's, who's a actual... Cylon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. So. <laughs> You just retroactively ruined that for Brian. <laughs> but it was awesome, and it was it was it was great because they killed a ton of people without having to actually kill them. It was it was awesome. Now uh, the uh, the uh, black lan or uh, black lantern, <laughs> green lantern, the green lantern. Right. Um, we, what we saw wasn't the original iteration. No, of this movie. Apparently, no. Yeah. There was for a brief moment. Uh, they considered God. Jack Black. And it was going to be kind of a goofier version of the Green horrible. Lantern, where it was going to be more physical humor and, uh, you know, a little more tongue-in-cheek. <laughs> I had heard this rumor once before, and I never gave it much weight. And I thought that maybe somebody had mixed it up with the Green Hornet, which had, was kind of a yeah. goofier... Yeah. yeah, that's probably more likely. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. This comes from Vanity Fair, who interviewed uh, Schmeagle. And uh, I don't remember... Robert Schme Schmeigel? Robert Schmeigel, and he's the, uh, he did the first draft of the Green Lantern script. Lucky so this guy. comes from the guy. So this was so the first draft. Yeah, it's making yeah. it a comedy right away. I mean, he writes. That's what comedy. the intention yeah, was, yeah. though. But this is from that dude. So mm -hmm. I think this was this was. Can you just imagine the slapstick and hilarity of having a, a ring that can create anything? He would just go around creating penises. He had to go to penises. All, honestly, all I'm it's thinking why? of is Jack Black's character in Tropic Thunder. Where he was Jeff Portnoy, and he was always making fart jokes and everything like that. I'm envisioning Green Lantern with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, making yeah, penises okay. with his okay. Honestly, yeah, that's fine. what DC deserves. So why not? <laughs> uh, while we're yeah, desecrate it. Actually, sidebar desecrate real quick. That the, stuff. the chat room. Uh, somebody two of four. I'm go get beer. I'll Ryan right Reynolds should have been the Flash. I agree. Hmm? Ooh, I think Ryan Reynolds would have been great. He would have been good. The Flash. And I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised we have started hearing rumors about the flash of any sort of flash movie coming down the pipe oh yeah uh, the, the flash was the also show? yeah i was just going to say the, the flash te television show was one of the few superhero television shows that actually was kind of enjoyable to watch at first at first kind of yeah. like i mean lewis and clark people liked first and it just got really bad and then smallville i liked the first yeah. and i thought it got really bad yeah. <laughs> did you watch the end of smallville no i heard it was good i heard that was good i watched what? the final episode yeah i did not he put on the suit, I don't man. Care. Final small boy wasn't care. too bad. He put on the suit and they shoehorned in Lex Luthor. It was awesome. Yeah, oh my gosh, true. a character that can't lose. Hey, I want to give a quick <laughs> a shout out oh, that's to. Oh, so, uh, that's that's so moving for a plot. Uh, Mere Pond Pale Ale. I'm gonna give this one uh, a thumbs up. I really like this. Enjoy that. Yeah, it's from the uh, Duchess Brewery, and okay. uh, it's that's in Oregon. I think that's the Deschutes. Deschutes yeah, Brewery. It's five percent alcohol, and it's from. Bend, I know that. Bend Oregon. Yeah, how did you know that? I can read. Oh. It says it right on the front label <laughs> there at the bottom. <laughs> I like the name Bend Oregon. It sounds like Bend Over Again. Now, Brian, don't do you didn't you do you remember Gordon Biersch, right? I remember Gordon Biersch very Biersch. well. I'm gonna start with uh, another, his restaurants. I'm gonna start another beer from Gordon Biersch. They're uh they're blonde. Tell me a little more Bach. about that pale ale. Was it hoppy? Was I mean like blonde? Actually no, it wasn't very hoppy. Are, no? No, it wasn't. Pretty it was, smooth. It was pretty smooth. It's actually very refreshing. I like the shoots. I've been yeah. generally pretty happy with all their brews. I well, how are you like in your winter hook? Yeah, that's all right. Now that's it. that's it's out a of beer. season. Now, does, it, does, it, does it feel like it's got some Christmas tree in it? A little bit. A little, a little bit of Christmas tree? Christmas tree? I mean, I like it might be presents underneath that beer. <laughs> oh. uh, do you guys want to? Do you guys want to cover uh, ten things you didn't know about uh, Star yes. Wars? Or do you want to? Yes. I did not read this link ahead of time. I so did not. Okay, okay now, Jim. Now I really don't know it. Does, ten things I don't know. About does anybody want to? Does anybody want to argue with the statement that Jeremy is probably the biggest Star Wars fan in the group? Does anybody have any contention no, with that? No, no. I know Star Wars okay, but I'm not. Yeah. Yes, I win I, the crown. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. I uh, I'm more of a Star C -word, C -word. I'm more of a Star Trek guy, but I hold firm that Star Wars has significant flaws in its design and structure. With that said, I've read like half of all the books. All right, and I'm, really have enjoyed them. I followed like all of the mainstream. Like I I watched reluctantly most of the Clone Wars. I've of course seen all the Star Wars movies. I haven't really gotten into, into any of the literature though. Mm. Uh, they're good. Me neither. This, I, this I, I read really good like, books. Uh, I had. 
some Dark Horse comic. Some decent that comics I read out there, that too. Was, yeah, oh, yeah, there really are. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we'll just run through it, and if we get wrong. bored with yeah. this Dark list, rocks. if we get bored with this list, we'll move on. Okay, okay, okay right. lay it on me. So uh, number 10, George Lucas actually killed Chewbacca in Asshole. canon. Asshole! Yeah, in a novel called uh, Vector Prime. Yep. Uh, he actually killed Chewbacca, and that's uh, that's canon. Oh. oh that was by R.A. Salvatore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> His family... The Christmas special. Right. Here's well, that was why one. he killed him. It, <laughs> yeah, was, it, it was revenge this for the Christmas special. 15 minutes of Wookiee talk. <laughs> Everyone will love it. <laughs> this one actually surprised me. Uh, the uh, what? Ewoks actually are speaking a real language. Can anybody... Well, you guys already read it. I can yeah. read it. I can read it. I can read it. Uh, Tibetan. <laughs> the, the Ewoks actually speak Tibetan. Tibetan. Free huh? the Ewoks. At least that's what the sound designer went after. And so okay. some of the things they said That's kind of awesome. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jabba's dancing girl revealed... Wait, 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 wait. Does that mean that... Jub Jub means something in Tibetan. That's or what I was just thinking. Yeah, Jub Jub. What let's does go it mean? A, let's Jub go Jub. through a f- couple right, of our you favorites. You guys keep talking. I'm gonna look up Jub Jub. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Jabba's dancing girl reveals more skin than you might realize. Uh, the Heard v- about that? The VH. Yeah, yes. the VHS edition that, has that's, that on. That's there. that's one I didn't know. Oh, Good I job, knew man. that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's I see. paused those uh, scenes extensively. If you look at Empire Strike Back real quickly, you can actually see what Boba Fett looks like without his mask on. There's one of the guys who grabs the uh, princess when you know she's captured like at some point that's actually what he oh, looks like actor. Actor. Be Bob- he's Boba Fett. Fett yep the actor's Boba Fett oh. that looks nothing like he did in, in uh, the you know the bastardization yeah that Greedo ruined in the Greedo was a woman Greedo you remember who shot who tried to shoot Han well that goes against my sexist stereotypes Greedo <laughs> was a woman the, the yeah, character Greedo was a woman well, and the, uh, with that hair, you could, yeah. yeah Number one. On. And didn't right. shoot first. Look at those subtle cheekbones, that ample bosom. <laughs> of course it's a woman. Here's the, the last that one. She here's, shot first. here's the last one before we get back into the news. Uh, this last this last <laughs> one is Han Solo was originally a green-skinned alien yeah, with gills. Yeah, early versions of the script. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that too. I'm All right, guys. Uh, oh, no. It's official. It's impossible to figure this out. You can't do it on the Google All right, Translate. everyone, figure this out for us. Uh, figure out what jub-jub might possibly mean and email it to us or go to the forums and talk about it so we can if tell you next speak episode. tibetan please translate everything the that the ewoks whole say the, yeah uh, in every now, scene that they battle appear. for endor whole works <laughs> oh yeah 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 every yeah. now uh, he's like i don't know if america will like this this uh this part of the trilogy but uh i think it's gonna play pretty well in tibet <laughs> i want to talk about two stories brian you put one in here about the muppets i did mm-hmm. and i want to talk about that and then i put one in here about meat from poop I really? want to talk about that because I want to get a little science on I you I heard guys. about that. That is awesome and So they're disgusting. both about things that are from your butts. Or Muppets, your hands go up. Yeah, the, hands go up the butt. stretch. Yeah, yeah there you butt. go. There so, you go. So tell us about this, B-Man. What's going on? Is this like a, a new, new Muppet, Muppet movie, man? A new Muppet oh, movie. Oh, yeah, with Jason Segel. Right? And it looks... Or Segel. I don't know. I never know how to pronounce it. Yeah, Jason, Jason Segel. Let's call him Segel. Okay. And Segel. here's the crazy thing. We're here's, playing the trailer. Here is the crazy thing. I'm going to load up IMDb real quick because I want to read you guys this freaking cast It's list. awesome. I've seen it. It is insane. Really? This guy, so the trailer looks great, but here's the no. cast list. Mila Kunis, Emily Blunt, Neil Patrick Harris, Zach Galifianakis, Amy Adams, Jason Siegel, Ed Helms, Jack Black, Rashida Jones, John Krasinski, Danny fucking Trejo, That's so awesome. Katy Perry, Whoopi Goldberg, Chris Cooper, and they're so it just keeps and on Donald. Danny like, the Muppets are well known. Like they've always done that. They've, they've Billy Crystal, Ricky movies. Gervais, Liza Minnelli, Mickey Rooney, French Stewart. Finally, I get to see more French oh, Stewart. Good. It's been I thought forever. he was dead. <laughs> Kathy Griffin, unfortunately. Wanda Sykes, <laughs> Judd Hirsch. Dude, I mean, David Grohl, David Grohl from Foo Fighters is in it. <laughs> Rachel awesome. Ray is in this. I Rachel don't Ray? Know why. why wouldn't she be? I mean, it just... Yeah, why wouldn't she be? They've got everyone else Jeff in Ross. this. Jeff Ross. Oh, I mean, my look goodness. At this if you list. keep scrolling, I think I'm in this. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> the cast list is so big, you could just start going in and innocuously adding yourself to this, yeah. and I don't know that anyone and would Jason, notice. And uh, Jason Segel loves the Muppets so much. Like, he's well-known for it, actually. Yeah. And, he's like and a his, Muppet uh, passionist? Yeah, yeah, and, and the then, whole uh, scene forgetting the Sarah Marshall. Of, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's. He There's wrote a, that too. He wrote right. that movie, and that's his love of Muppets. Uh, right. How about that? Yeah, and that's a great movie, and he's a pretty funny writer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, if you so watch him on Undeclared, awesome. he is so good in that show. <clears throat> yeah, Undeclared was great. Yeah. So Shame that got canceled. We no, have a link in the show notes for you, uh, dedicated audio listeners. Uh, where you can watch the actual full length trailer. Ain't it cool? News got their hands on it, and Chud's got an embed of it, and so we we linked that up. Um, honestly, I have a super soft spot, and now that I have a two two year old son. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I'm seeing this movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, By myself. Um, you know what that? A bunch of kids that's really weird. That offering is, them popcorn. Three of the people at this table now have children yeah. since the last time oh, we all sat down. Oh, speaking of which, not, uh, 
Hey, you other you other kid having guys out there. Are you excited about the new Winnie the Pooh movie later this month? Oh my goodness! Or in July? I'm uh, actually so, lying up after the show. I'm kind of avoiding Winnie the Pooh. See, I love Winnie the Pooh, man. Uh, it's for, really, it's, it's for the wife. It's for the wife. Winnie the Pooh is goddamn funny. Like, <laughs> like seriously, He's Winnie the Pooh. It's seriously, so guys. Depressing. Uh, seriously, guys. It, but it's Eeyore's so depressing. awesome. Go back and read the books. It holds up. That stuff is funny. It's free. It's yeah. free. You can click that you link. There's some sort of English Tibetan. Oh my goodness. Now. uh uh, did you did you want to talk anything else about the Muppets no, movie? It's just awesome. No, they've been doing a, like a neat kind of advertising campaign though. They've been kind of doing like teaser trailers too. They did a Green Lantern uh, like, fake. Yeah, one, Green yeah. Lantern one. Oh, I love one that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind great. Of cool. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. It looks and then, like fantastic. to the point where they're like self-aware. Like, why don't we just show a real trailer? Like, I think they <laughs> yeah, you know, like the yeah. second one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're uh, they're doing like at the end they of the will trailer, be driving. They're it doing says. a car trip, and all that's playing is a low quality version of Manumana. And uh, they're just sitting there listening to it, and they're like, uh, it's not, uh, <laughs> it's not moving right along. Yeah, I know. It's 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 great. It's great. <laughs> okay, I'm now I, about I want to talk about this. This is not a joke, uh, listening audience. This is really a thing that came out this week. I don't know. Um, it's from Japan, dude. It might be a joke. No, no, it's real. Japan scientists, Japan scientists synthesize meat from human feces. It's about <laughs> damn time. I want to eat feces, but I want it to be nutritious. <laughs> so uh, here's the details. Let's talk about the science of it. Now, I apologize if I stumble over this. I'm getting a little beer sloppy. I haven't drank much beer since beer is tasty. Wow. Uh, the meat is 63% proteins. 25% carbohydrates. Watch out, J-Man, J- Jeremy. That's right. Uh, 3% lipids and 9% minerals. God, Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that poop is not on my diet? Well, it's got uh, 25% carbohydrates. I would never tell Oh, that. shucks. <laughs> oh, darn it. Uh, that has so just dashed my hopes and dreams. They, uh, you they, can almost use it as bread. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so they... Uh, they Soil and green is poop. They, uh, poop. they color it. And, oh, they color um, it. Well, they, that's, they make it red. And so they it looks like meat. Red. And, uh, At least it, it doesn't start red. And initial tests, human well. trial tests, have shown it tastes like beef. Gosh. <laughs> like, mm. you know when you're, like, signing up for a science experiment, it's like, yeah, I'll make a quick mm. buck. Oh, God, what's this one about? Well, think about, like, <laughs> doesn't, like... Uh, Can't you just shoot me full of drugs? <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. You signed up, and yeah. Uh, I thought this was a, a cannabis trial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came in here for the for the new antidepressant. I gotta eat poop. Uh, that would be really great. That'd be awful. Uh, no, but think about Get eating grin. First of all, <laughs> yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. First of all, will you go get like a triple patty burger now? Yeah. That's like triple. Poop patties. They may have been doing this for years. I just gotta wonder. You know, everybody's though. always said that McDonald's patties taste a little odd. <laughs> Would you guys though say this is fifty patties. years in the future? This this say this technology has been perfected for fifty years. Yeah. Would you do it? Perfected? Uh-huh. Now can you ever to... really perfect? Hold on, I gotta go make some meat. Sure, well, dude. Science, man. I'm just saying it Talking is. Science. If it's if they say it's 100% safe and it's 100%, they need to stop calling it poo burgers. Well, just this article did. All of the other ones. In fact, I read a few articles on this because I was fascinated by yeah. it, and some of them don't even mention that it comes from poop. Mm. Let me guys. Let me guys ask you guys this. If they start using the term resequence protein, it'll get the Trekkies on board. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, so totally into space it. Space travel. Yeah. It's going to be used so for space travel. So you're in a ship. You're flying through space. You have the choice of, A, never eating anything that tastes like meat again. Or no more having tank, burgers if you're willing to eat your own crap. Yeah. I go with the burgers. Like, uh, chat room, uh, just a quick yes, no. Chat room, can we get a vote? Would you Would you eat your own poo? I... Uh, or have you done it before? Poo, man. No, no, no. Not your own poo. Resequence poo. Resequence poo. But you go out into the garden and you pick a zucchini that was growing when you were in the soil. We got a You're eating poo. We got a few yeses. We, we got a couple of hell no's. Well, you, want, <laughs> well, you don't eat the straight poo, yeah. but this isn't straight But at poo. like a molecular level, it's all the same crap. It's all the yeah. same crap. That's yeah. literally. See, and that's why. And would you be more comfortable eating your own meat poop or someone else's meat poop? Okay, see, Avatar Continuums is in 100 years, and now in 100 years, could I eat my own meat poop or someone else's meat poop? You know you're going to go over to someone's I wanna, house, I'm and they're going to be like, hey, you like that burger? You like that burger? Uh, you guys, what about that burger? Uh, it's like a bread machine years, on their counter. Yeah, I got like, a poop processing matter. machine right here. That I, would be. I have another question for you, Chris, because okay. you've read several articles on yeah, this. Do yeah. they mention anything about having to have a specific diet before it's pooped out? No. In fact, I wondered uh, what happens if question. you eat a lot really of this resequenced question. poop, and so well, your whole diet consists of resequenced poop. Can you then well, make more poop? From, right. Here's the thing, guys. So, like, can so you more resequence meat? your poop burger? I'm going to talk goat for a minute. Okay. Okay. So, goats and deers uh, and, and other such animals, right? Yeah, yeah. If you go along and you see goat droppings and you pick them up and pop them in your mouth, they're really good for you. Now, it might be gross that you just 
ate goat poop. But at a, at a real fundamental level, what yeah. they ate is basically it goes a through a, it goes through a four chamber process, four stomach process, where it basically distills it down into raw good shit, you know? and they poop it out, and you can pick it up and eat it, and they're like little vitamins. I have one or thing as to say about Grill that, says they're little vitamins. The, the person who told you that is not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, shut up. That's Bear Grylls talking. <laughs> He's not your friend. <laughs> Dude, Bear Grylls is my friend. If Bear Grylls told me to eat eat goat shit and drink my own piss, I would do it and I would smile. Dude, Bear Grylls would just hang out at your house just to be able to do that. Bear, that guy's a machine. It's unbelievable. So, I don't know. So why not? I mean, it does. So, I mean, it just depends on what you're getting the poop from. You got to kind of figure, too, that... Uh, I mean, it's not human poop, right? No, well, it is. No, no it, it is. is. That's it, the thing It about is it. human poop. It's just human poop? Well, it's, in this test, well, it was... screwed up. <laughs> Uh, it's, does that change your opinion? Whoa, whoa. Uh, well, I, a little bit. I mean, I mean, you know, having like a like an herbivore. Oh God, look at sure. it! Oh God, <laughs> this maybe it's tastes so... a little bit like Kraft mac and cheese. <laughs> God. Oh man! All right, now I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> this video uses the term sewage mud. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was taking <laughs> so much worse. Because is, is it worse that it's loose rather than firm? <laughs> oh, man, uh, damn I wonder how many people stop listening. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, we just, yeah okay, let's move on. I don't oh, want to get people please. to tune out. People are probably just dying. Oh, All right. Um, now, uh, B-Man, another story you put in here is this shot-by-shot shot of uh, Mr. Pop. Oh, this, this is, is hilarious. This yeah. is actually pretty great. So, okay, two movies have come out basically within a week and a half of each other. Yes. Mr. Mm -hmm. Popper's Penguins and The Smurfs. I would I'm like so to point glad out to put this in here. Two different studios. Yep. Yes. Paramount and yep. uh, Warner Brothers? I think so. I might say. Yeah. The, it, so follow the link in the show notes, guys. And let's scroll down just a little bit to take a look for it. What, what they've done is they've taken screen grabs from the movie and summarized the general plot point right below it. It is the exact It's the same, same plot. Movie. Scene by scene, completely different movies. Completely one's, different. One's the Smurfs, right? And uh -huh, then, and then uh -huh. what's like the other one is that... Mr. Uh, Popper's Mr. Penguin. Yeah, the Jim Carrey movie. And literally, it starts out with, basically, yeah, delivery man arrives. Oh my gosh, a mysterious package opens it up. Oh, look, a family picture, a comedic actor in the lead, someone like Jim Carrey, or hell, Neil Patrick Harris. We open with an establishing shot over New York City. Not even different cities. Right. Same city. Right. Our, play, uh -huh. our lead plays a sharply dressed successful executive. Uh oh shenanigans going to ensue. Okay, he opens the package and who pops out? It's either penguins or smurfs. Some He's all freaking CGI out. Critter. And it just moves on. Yep. And, oh, here's the lovable family who kind of likes these new creatures. Oh, oh but the guys, oh, they they're get trying into shenanigans. to them. And then there's a thing with the toilets. In both, both creatures get into the toilets. Not just in both of them. Yeah. In the same damn order. So, like the, <laughs> but, the toilet but, part is in the same basic Can I ask you something, movies. Brian, though, isn't this our fault? Isn't this the consumer's fault that I Hollywood accept no does? They're both no. supposed to be horrible. I have not seen either of these movies. In fact, I, I have in the show notes. I oh, what did I call it? Yeah, there's some profanity. There's some, yeah. some profanity in there. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of F words in shot. there. Uh, so, but if you look at it, it is just ridiculous. The only redeeming value of any of this is that uh, uh, the Smurfs movie has uh, Neil Patrick Harris and uh, and what's his name? Tom I Gardner. do agree with you there. Yeah. Neil Patrick Harris is always win. Now, you know, yeah. I now, saw a preview argue in front of the movies uh, or argue for the movies. Um, does Mr. Popper's Penguins trailer does that have a reference to Smurf pubic hair like the trailer <laughs> for the Smurfs does? You're always classy. <laughs> So glad you have brought a that up. Yeah. 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 Penguin Did you see that, Brian? Yeah, that was There's fantastic. actually a reference. There's a reference. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, which is worth checking out, but yes. I don't think worth seeing the movie. Um, now, a couple of stories before we wrap up. Actually, why don't we just make this our last Well, this story. one actually has me excited. Yeah? I uh -huh. saw this uh, trailer God. right before watching uh, First Class. Oh, no kidding. You got to see the trailer? Yeah. Oh, you can oh, watch cool. the trailer. Oh, it's I right haven't here. yet. I haven't yet. All right. So I haven't either. I heard it looks good, though. We've got a new trailer here for for what? What? For Rise? What? Rise of the Planet no, of the Apes. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. So now, Rise Brian is known to be a fan I of the movies. I love the Planet of the Apes. Rise of the Planet of the Apes it. in I'm really theater August. I'm really shocked that you didn't love this then. I really didn't. In theater August 12th. Right? All right, well, B-Man, lay it on thing. me. So, uh, the Planet of the Apes, if you know the Planet of the Apes series, which at this point I'm allowed to talk about because it's not spoilers because it's like a million years old. That's true. Yes. Can we make that a rule <laughs> yeah, on the show? That's a rule. If it's that old, you if can talk about it. If it's that old, it. you can talk about it. Yeah, All I right, agree. so if, you don't, if you've never seen Planet of the Apes, A, you're dumb, and B, stop watching. Oh, before you go, I, that thing where we're going to where we're gonna watch <laughs> and then talk about it? Yeah. Let's let's make it, we could do retro movies and stuff too. It doesn't have to be new yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so we could do Planet of the Apes So here's the thing. In the original Planet of the Apes, the apes were seeded into our time from the future. Right. 
they, it basically is this strange infinite loop sort of scenario, and it's very interesting. Like, it's a cool piece of sci-fi. Mm -hmm. In this one, he was trying to, a doctor was trying to cure Alzheimer's, and he made his monkey extra smart, and his CGI monkey, oh, not no. a real monkey in a suit, not not anything, just oh, this crazy CGI oh. monkey is extra smart because of science in 3D. Are you saying that you're... And the Green to Goblin the fact that this is, is like, I'm the Green Goblin and I love my monkey. And, oh, gosh. So and you're objecting CGI monkey. to the fact that this don't new reboot of it is based on science that could actually happen instead of time travel? Time travel totally happens all the time. Are you well, in the no, exact hold spot? On. Hold that on. Chris, I have to destroy Jeremy completely well, right now. I was going to help you because I'm with you. Jeremy, <laughs> I'm with are you. you right now in the same position in time as you were one second ago? <laughs> <laughs> Time travel <Dude>. occurs. <laughs> now, uh, now, now, here's my issue with it. Now, the monkey then is like... I didn't like, answer. What if I am? Now, the monkey in the trailer... The, the interesting thing is the trailer gives away the entire plot. Yeah. The monkey oh, in the trailer is given, like, in an embryo state, is given these, these drugs, and it grows up and basically is extra smart. The monkey then is real... Like, does something to, like, piss off people and has to go into, like, a monkey... Prison. Jail. Yeah, monkey monkey time. Yeah. In oh, monkey man. jail, he's like, he's like, man, all Make my other monkey monkeys are dumb. <laughs> so he finds, he steals the canister of of this drug, of smart drug. in gas form because apparently they've weaponized oh, this oh, Alzheimer medicine. That's what you do. And then he opened it up and rolled it down the hallway. Just in case. Sneered. Yeah. And all of a sudden, thousands of monkeys are super smart and revolt against uh, mankind. And they take out New York City. Or, no. or sorry, San Francisco. No. Yes. They're not no, ruining horrible. this, are they? That's Maybe the they can whole draw. thing. I'm on the complete I'm other side of the fence from you guys. Seriously? I'm really? listening to everything Dude, you say. That sounds bad, man. I don't that know. sounds bad. I, I'm gonna have to agree. I with mean, that. I respect. I respect where you're coming from. The you, only major. Uh, I mean, the I mean, the Green objection cool, that I have but... is him. That's the, my major objection. Green Goblin. Green Goblin. Yeah, that's the funny thing. He's the only thing I kind of like. I really like him. So no, did oh, you, I think did he's you awful. like the Tim Burton remake? Because I did not. Uh, oh my god, I didn't like it. But the it Tim Burton remake was more faithful. Was more faithful than this one. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's got John Lithgow. I do like John. I like the actors in this. That's the thing. Is the actors in this are great, in my opinion. I think they're Whoa. hilarious guys. But this isn't a comedy. I, I can't no. get behind this. I, I can't, can't either. I can't. Yeah, the I, thing I do is, not like Brian's description of it. If that's true, re, yeah, I haven't seen yeah, it yet. Pretty much true. Look yeah. Watch the trailer. Yeah, Let's look, look from next the trailer. Week. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah. I see where Jeremy's coming from and saying, "Hey, you got to root it in something that the you know modern public wraps their brain around, and you know you're trying to bring it to." The I new, think, the I new think audience. My but here's the thing: my acceptance of this is like kind of rooted in my fascination with the idea that humanity is going to destroy itself in the very near future. I kind of feel that in my bones. Yeah, and this is just one more way that it could happen. I feel kind of far really? fetched, but <laughs> really, Jeremy? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've so, got a positive so outlook got on the world. Nuclear holocaust, sun exploding. Yeah, but I've smart already, monkeys. I've smart already monkeys by, thought about by all those things. By weaponized medication. Yes, yes. Yeah, weaponized <laughs> Alzheimer medication. Gonna make happen, the monkeys dude. revolt and kill us all. I just happen. don't like everyone. It. They've stopped forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, I think God. that's probably a pretty good spot to wrap up the, our first uh, reboot of Jupiter <laughs> Yeah, let's Night. end on that note. Yeah, yeah now, uh, so uh, we do have the email address, night at jupiterbroadcasting.com, and we want to hear your feedback and hear your thoughts and what you think, what we should do with the show. Don't forget, we're going to watch that Torchwood miniseries. What's yes. it called, guys? Children of Earth. Of Earth. Not, Not men. Go. Not, Not men. Not men. Now, there's five episodes. Try and get through as many as you can. Yeah. Each yeah. about an hour, right? Yeah. yeah. And we're going to talk about them on the next, on the next think, uh, episode. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. the next episode will come out. Thursday at night, so probably, you know... Thursday really, at night. Yeah, or maybe right. a Friday morning, yeah, depending on like where you mm -hmm. are. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but if you want to join in, what are we doing? Is it 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. Thursdays yep. over at jblive.tv, and we'd love time. to get, get you yeah. guys in there and telling us your thoughts. And you know, we're, we're going gonna, we're gonna to start working in Skype calls during the show. Uh -huh. We're going to be taking comments. You know, if we end up planning, we might even you. tell you ahead of time, like, what beer or whiskey or whatever yeah. we're oh, drinking. Oh, so yes. We are right not along. on the ball right now. Tomorrow, next week, we're going to drink Johnny Walker Green Label. Johnny Walker Green Label Whiskey. Yeah. So if you want to drink along with us, we'll be reviewing that during the episode, and you can join us. Mm -hmm. Delightful. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for tuning in to the reboot of Jupiter at Night, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>